I think uh, Russian propaganda is heading for the German public because they know that uh, we, they know that Germany is a strong player in the question of the future of EU and uh, Ukraine and also because they know that the German public is very split on its view on what is happening in Ukraine at the, mom at the moment. Um, you know that we have a big Russian-speaking uh, population in our country. We also have um, uh, um, well five states which have been living uh, uh, as a brother state to Russia and there is the deep wish in the German public um, not to be in conflict with Russia. So all this emerges to a atmosphere where uh, Russian propaganda, which shows that uh, an equidistance would be an um, intelligent uh, point of view to take. Uh, this is what they are striving at. Uh, they are pretty successful in it, and it really must worry us because I think uh, what Kremlin is doing now is not only about Ukraine. He wants to uh, head for the weak parts of the European Union. That is why uh, the network between the right-wing parties within Western Europe that want to destroy the European Union from within are linking to Kremlin and backward. So I think in the end it's about um, the Kremlin wanting to weaken or maybe even destroy EU from the inside. And I think in the end uh, Putin is going to want to challenge NATO. Uh, I think the, the main challenge, of course, talking about Ukraine is that we have an asymmetric conflict. If you have one side, like Russia, which does not only say, but like we see, is willing to use military force, and we every day uh, repeat again and again that we are not going to use any military force, uh, that puts you into a very asymmetric situation, at least on the short run. Now, we have decided that we will use non-military actions, which are is a politics of sanctions plus diplomacy, or sanctions as a part of diplomacy. Nobody knows yet uh, how effective those sanctions will be in the end.